The topic is basic economic problem of society. And we are also going to look at types of economic system. Right now, let us focus on the basic economic problem of society. They are A. What to produce. What to produce depends on available resources and what the society needs. Of course, we cannot produce beyond our resources, except if the stock of resources and technology are increased. And also, what is produced depends on what the society needs. No entrepreneur will produce commodities or services that are not needed by the society. And of course, too, what will produce still depends on the price of the commodity. And of course, in a capitalist economy, price is determined, what will produce is determined by the forces of the interaction of demand and supply that fix the price for that commodity. However, in a command economy or socialist economy, what to produce depends on the government. Now, B, how to produce. How to produce depends on the technique of production, which may be capital or labor intensive. Of course, if it is capital intensive, it means that the, we are using more of capital equipment and money than we are using labor. This technique is a device of the advanced countries of the world, like USA, UK, Germany. And of course, for labor-intensive technique, it means that we are using more labor resources than we use capital equipment or money. And this is used more, the labor-intensive technique is used more by the developing country that have surplus labor. And in order to bring down unemployment, government or developing country resort to labor intensive techniques. C, for whom to produce? Of course, for whom to produce, the society is divided into two main segments, the rich and the poor. Now, to which segment of the society do we produce? Do we produce for the rich? If we produce for the rich, the poor who are the electorates, we vote out the government in power. And if we produce for the poor, it's the rich that have resources to put government in power. And they can withdraw their resources and such government will collapse. So it's a very big economic problem. And lastly, D, efficiency of resources used, used for production. How efficient are the resources used for production? And if we want to know this, we have two types of efficiency. One is production efficiency, the other one is distribution efficiency. We have production efficiency if the output ratio is greater than the input ratio. What we put in as a tapena is less than what we get. So we are saying that what we get as output is greater than what we put in as input. So we have production efficiency. Then we have distribution efficiency if the goods produced are distributed in such a way that no one consumer in the society is better off or worse off. For example, if bread is produced at 100% and is distributed in a society that is shared into two segments. If one part of the society is given 20% of the bread produced and the other segment is given 80% of the bread produced, we know from here that the segment with 80% bread produced is better off why the segment with just 20% of bread produced is worse off. Now, we are looking at the types of economic system. In this case, we have A, capitalist economy. In capitalist economy, the means of production are owned and controlled 
by the individuals, enterprises, or firms. Price is determined or fixed by the forces of demand and supply. For example, as in USA, UK, Germany, etc. B. Socialist economy. In socialist economy, the means of production are owned and controlled by the government. It is also known as the command economy. Hence, in the command economy, otherwise known as socialist economy, price is fixed by the government. Example is the former Russia. Finally, C mixed economic system. In fact, some countries of the world which are not aligned, that is, they are not supporter of the East Bloc or the West Bloc. The East Bloc is championed by Russia, while the West Bloc is championed by the United States of America. So those countries that are not supporting either of them are the non-alignment countries. So what they are doing is to combine the advantages of capitalism and socialism, thereby using it to form a new economic ideology, like in Nigeria, for example, and also Ghana, and so on and so forth. Examples. Example one. One of the economic problems in Nigeria arises from A. The overutilization of human and natural resources. B. The underutilization of human and material resources. C. Unavailability of natural resources. D. Insufficient manpower resources. Looking at the question, we take A, option A. A. The overutilization of human and natural resources. Nigeria is yet to tap the available resources. So the question of overutilization does not come in. So A is not correct. B, the underutilization of human and material resources. Yes, in Nigeria, the many people who are professional and qualified, they are not even being employed, they are not used. And there are a lot of mineral resources in Nigeria, they are not being tapped. So B is correct, the underutilization of human and material resources. C, unavailability of natural resources. We have enough natural resources in Nigeria yet to be found. So C is not correct. D, insufficient manpower resources. We have manpower resources, abundant manpower resources. So D is not correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. Question 2. What to produce in a society is determined by A. Expenditure on different commodities. B. Competition among producers. C. Competition among consumers. D. Supply and demand by producers. Looking at option A. Expenditure on different commodities. We know that in deciding what to produce, the producer have to look at the household expenditure on different commodities. Producer will produce more of those commodities that the household make higher expenditure. And so, option A is correct. Option B, competition among producer. Competition among producer will only break down the price of the commodity. And C, competition among consumer. Competition among consumer will only result to inflation and D supply and demand by the producer. 
Of course, the producer supply and is not the one to buy. So, option A is correct, option B, C and D are not correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option A. Question number three. In a free market economy, what, how, and for whom to produce are determined by A. Elected party executives B. The government C. Price mechanism D. The planning committee Now, option A. Elected party executives Elected party executives are not the ones that decide what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce in a capitalist economy, which is a free market economy. So, option A is not correct. B, the government. B is not correct because it is in the planned economy or socialist economy that the government decides what to produce, how and for whom to produce. Price mechanism. Yes. Option C is correct. The price mechanism or price system determine who to produce, for whom, what to produce, excuse me, how to produce and for whom to produce due to the price of the commodity they buy. And D, the planning committee. In capitalist economy, we do not have planning committee. It only obtains in command economy. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. Question 4. Production efficiency entails A. Reduction in the size of labor force B. Increase in quantity of fixed factors C. Adoption of capital intensive technique. D. Output production with the lowest cost of factors. Option A. Reduction in the size of labor force. This is labor as a topic, but we are talking about production. So A is not correct. B. Increase in quantity of fixed factor. If Fixed factor are increased. That, of course, will not talk about production efficiency. Because, by definition, production efficiency will arrive if the output ratio is greater than the input ratio. So, B is not correct. C, adoption of capital intensive technique. Capital intensive technique is one of the problems of how to produce, one of the economic problems of society. So C is not correct. D, output production with the lowest cost of factors. If factors have the lowest cost, then it means that output ratio is greater than input ratio. And so we have production efficiency. So option D is correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option D.